The Hopkinton Center for the Arts hosted an art gallery called Describing the Real. The gallery featured artwork which explores the differences in representational images. My name is Marsha, Marsha Gleason, and I recently retired from being an art teacher for about 30 years, 24 years in South Pro. Um, I teach here at Hopkinton Center for the Arts, and I recently started doing my own work when I retired, and I've been studying with a couple of teachers that are my favorite teachers, and um, this is an earlier work. Um, these are sort of middle, and the two on panels are my most recent. Um, I love doing figurative paintings. Um, oftentimes they're family and friends. Um, this is a self-portrait. Uh, that's my grandfather. Um, and I mostly do direct painting, which means that I start and finish the painting within one sitting or one time of working. Um, and with that comes a style that shows a little bit of, you know, the artist's brushstroke, and um, it's it's a little um, it's a little fresh in terms of just putting down the paint and letting it stay as a final statement. So that's what I enjoy doing. Um, as I said, figures are my specialty that I love to do so much, and um, I'm having a lot of fun and learning a lot, and then. I enjoy teaching that to others, um, and that's what we're doing in my class here at Hop Arts. We're doing a little painting and a little drawing and having a lot of fun, so it's great. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank Do you have a favorite piece on display today? Uh, yeah. That's hard because, as I said, there's sort of a range of my growth and how I started in, and in the process of, um, of learning and growing and um, finding different ways to express myself um, and the people that I draw. Um, I guess because that's my grandfather, that might be one of my favorites. So. <laughs> but I'm enjoying all the other art here and it's a great variety of styles and subject matter. Um, so it's just, and it's a wonderful space here and it's so exciting to be part of this. This is just a fabulous um, center for the arts. I, uh, well, I work in acrylic and um, predominantly flowers at this point. Um, most of them are, I work from also from, uh, from photographs, so I, I work slowly. Otherwise, my, my pieces would probably not um, uh, look quite so fresh. Um, so, I, I don't know, I, I'm not usually very comfortable talking about my work, except for the fact that, sort of the process, I don't have a, sort of a grand theory of what they're supposed to mean, except for just to be beautiful and enjoy, because I, I love flowers and I love nature and, and what I see in the world around me. Can you explain the process a little bit and how long it takes? Depends on the piece. Um, some of the pieces take um, anywhere from I don't know, a half perhaps maybe eight hours. Um, some of the larger pieces can take as long as a month. Um, they're, I work in small areas and sort of build from the back to the front so that the, um, the colors are very vibrant in the front. Um, I like working on a white canvas so that the colors really stand out and um, try to be as, as uh, vivid as possible. I love color. I, I gravitate towards it. It's hard for me to, to work in something that's not um, a, a bright color, so I have to force myself into the darker, darker shades. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a favorite piece here today? I have two favorite pieces. Um, the large painting with the, uh, it's called Red Party F Flowers 2, um, just mainly because of the work that went into it. That was one that took longer. Um, and then the other uh, is uh, a painting called Open Hand, and um, it's a painting of a clementine fruit, and um, something about it just um, makes me happy when I see it. We painted it in January when it was very cold last winter, so it sort of warmed my soul as I was working on it. 